In this video, we will see how to determine net income or loss. The net income is the difference between the revenues and the expenses of a business. If revenues exceed expenses, it results in profit. In contrast, if expenses exceed revenues, it results in loss. The net income is usually computed by preparing an income statement. It can also be calculated from an analysis of the change in owner's equity during the year. The change in owner's equity is the difference between the beginning balance of owner's equity and the ending balance of owner's equity. An owner's equity increases by an owner's investments and by revenues from business operations. It decreases by an owner's withdrawals of assets and by expenses. Let us now look at an illustration to see how to compute the net income or loss from an analysis of the change in the owner's equity during the year. The ending balances of total assets and total liabilities of Hypolith Company for three cumulative years are given. The company began business on January 1st, year 1, with an investment of $115,000. We will analyze the change in owner's equity and compute the net income or loss of Hypolith for all three years. Let's first calculate the net income for year 1, assuming the owner has withdrawn $9,500 for the year. For this, we first need to calculate the changes in owner's equity during the year. It is the difference between the ending and the beginning balance of owner's equity. In year 1, the total assets of the company were $425,000 and the total liabilities were $300,000. By subtracting the total liabilities of $300,000 from the total assets of $425,000, we compute the owner's equity as of December 31st, year 1, as $125,000. The owner's equity on January 1st, year 1, is $115,000. So the owner's equity has increased by $10,000 during the year. Note that the change in owner's equity during the year is equal to additional investment plus net income less owner's drawing during the year. In this case, there is no additional investment. Therefore, the change in owner's equity must be equal to net income less owner's drawing. So, to calculate net income, we add drawings of $9,500 to the increase in owner's equity during the year. Hence, net income for year 1 is $19,500. Next, we calculate net income for year 2, assuming that the company made an additional investment of $52,000 and had no drawings during the year. The ending balance of owner's equity is $145,000, which is calculated by deducting total liabilities of $327,000 from $472,000. Note that the ending balance of owner's equity for the current year will be the beginning balance of owner's equity for the next year. Thus, the ending owner's equity of $125,000 in year 1 is the beginning balance for year 2. So, during the year, owner's equity has increased by $20,000. Recall that the two components that increase owner's equity are additional investment and net income. In this case, as the increase in owner's equity is less than the additional investment made during the year, the company incurs a loss in year two. Thus, net loss for year two can be determined by deducting $52,500 from $20,000 which is $32,500. Finally, we calculate the net income for year 3, assuming the company has made an additional investment of $13,250 and had drawings of $29,000. The ending balance of owner's equity is $177,000, which is calculated by deducting total liabilities of $398,000 from $575,000. The ending owner's equity of $145,000 in year 2 is the beginning owner's equity for year 3. Thus, the owner's equity has increased by $32,000 during the year. Note that the owner's investment and net income increase owner's equity, while withdrawals and net losses decrease owner's equity. Therefore, net income can be determined by deducting additional investment and adding withdrawals to the increase in owner's equity during the year. Hence, by deducting $13,250, we get a balance of $18,750.
To this, we add drawings of $29,000 to arrive at net income for year 3 of $47,750.